Well, guys, uh, <laughs> we're bringing back some uh, nice quality ASMR level story times with your boy. I know a lot of you guys wanted to hear a lot of crazy stories about my life. And so this particular one is going to be the top most voted uh, story and stuff that you guys voted for in the community tab. And it's basically how I almost got killed. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I've lived a wild, wild, wild life. And I know a lot of you guys want to hear about it. So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you guys know. Now, listen, to, for some background, I was pretty much a goody two-shoes back in the day, right? And by back in the day, I mean high school. I was really, really soft-spoken, hard to believe since I talked very loud and boisterous and stuff. But anyways, I, I literally, I was very soft-spoken. I had very rowdy friends. My friends were pretty rowdy. They were all very intelligent people and stuff. But, you know, one thing led to another when I was younger, though. I had, like, a lot of problems at home my parents and I didn't really get along that kind of ultimately led to me getting kicked out at a very young age I was like 14 years old and I was basically on the street for a little bit but I wound up living with my friends and that kind of changed the tides and that's kind of where this whole story kind of starts so I was chilling at a friend's house right and my homie I want to kind of give him random names bro uh so uh, for right now my, my really close homie I'm gonna call him uh Phillips my, my homie Philip, right was staying at his house with his twin brother and we were basically just chilling like we were chilling having a good old time whatever and i guess one glorious glorious night we are minding our own business and their mom was upstairs watching tv and whatever and he's like hey bro there's a party tonight we should like you know we should go ch hit it up and see what's what, what's up with the what up and i'm like it's a school night and you know me like i was a goody two shoes like i mentioned before i i, I did my homework i i did right by the bible i had a uh, the cross i'm like oh oh god i was i was definitely with all that you know innocent stuff so I wasn't really going for that. I'm like, hey, maybe we shouldn't do that. Like, I mean, it's late at night. It was like about 9, 10 p.m. ish. It was like about 10 p.m. when Philip's brother was kind of like letting us know like, hey, look, there's a party. We should totally hit it up. And I'm like, how are we going to get there? I mean, we're in Chicago, so we could take the train. But the buses and stuff kind of they close in an hour. Like all the buses and trains close at 11 p.m. And it's it's already 10 p.m. The party doesn't start to 11 p.m. So uh, we hit up this guy. And by we, I mean them. They hit up a friend of ours that was also in high school with us. His name, uh, we'll just say... Uh, we'll say Rashad so he hit up Rashad and Rashad showed up in this big like nice little like car it was this I said big nice little car <laughs> he showed up in this nice like this nice ass car man not gonna lie he pulled up and the whip you know everything flawless victory and shit and we're still inside the house mind you at this point 10 p.m his mom is knocked out now also what I forgot to mention one little 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 thing their grandmother was also living in the house with all of us too so we're all in this room together we're supposed to be fast asleep but we're over here talking scheming how we're gonna get out the house and everything and we hear a knock on the door open it up and it's and it's grandma and grandma's like what are you guys doing up so late and we're like oh uh, no nothing we're just doing homework uh we're almost done uh and she's like all right all right and she like uh, you know hobbles off into our room closes the door we're like all right bet so we did the most james bond shit i've ever done in my entire life we literally snuck upstairs when the coast was clear we could clearly hear her snoring and by clearly hear her we had philip's brother go in the room look at her he was actively looking at her like okay coast is clear and he's like he gave us the green light so he went out there first to act like he was going to the bathroom basically while we were in the room waiting in silence and he texted us he's like all right cool you guys can come out but you got to be quiet so we are you know we're creeping through the hallway like you know some james bond spy kids ass badass kids and shit and we go up the stairs now mind you there's a first floor a basement level a second floor and a third floor we were we were already on the second floor that's where the room was um our room was at the end of the hall and we all shared a room together and then we are going up to up the stairs to the third floor but everything was carpeted up until you got to the third floor stairs so it was like crick, 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 crick. every time we stepped on a motherfucking step we're like god damn man i feel like these steps are snitch nine god damn so we're walking up the stairs you know minding our little like trying to get out without getting caught and i'm like bro because once we got to the third floor there's a mini living room on the third floor it's kind of crazy setup but it's a mini living room and then a door that leads to the master bedroom but then on like right on the outside of the of the living room right the living room on the third floor there's a living room downstairs and a living room on the third floor there's also a door that leads to a patio on the rooftop of the house so 
naturally we couldn't open the door because that makes too much motherfucking noise so we opened up the window and one by one we all slid out that bitch. we we slid out there like we uh, we hit the hood on them real quick so we we slid out the window and everything and i'm feeling like my heart is pounding at this point because i'm like what would jesus do he would be asleep <laughs> oh, don't do this to me I'll, i'm literally freaking out but philip and his bro are like yo chill it's fine like the car once again like i said rashad is outside parked in the car like vroom, 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 vroom. I was like hey guys like hurry the fuck up the party's about to start we're on the third story mind you when i tell you what happens next now there's this spiral staircase that kind of leads to the top of this rooftop too it's weird it's kind of so there's a patio on the third floor rooftop and on the first floor there's two patios there's one on the rooftop i call that a patio one on the on the first on the first on the first floor the funny thing is there's a steel staircase that goes from the first floor to the third floor and we're like oh word let's do that shit so we climb halfway down this steel staircase and there's a tall ass fence right and this tall ass fence we have to hop to get outside of the property line so we can hop in the car and go to this party and i was freaking out because the fall was like 10 feet which ain't that much but it's enough to break a little leg or something and you know cause some commotion if everybody's sleeping so you know philip goes first and philip's brother goes next and i try to ooh, i'm like all right all right let's do this oh i jump and obviously i make it over the fence and i'm freaking out and i'm like on high alert i'm thinking like you know i'm gonna get shot stabbed whatever we're in chicago at literally 10 45 p.m those are bullet cracking hours bruh so i sprinted to the car hit the hood on them real quick so did all my homies we piled in the car and off we went to this party and that's where this next part begins ladies and gentlemen we get to this party and we get to the party for a particular reason one of my friends was trying to get that bud you feel me if you don't know what bud is it's that young fresh grass you smoking on some grass right there was a guy that we used to know back in elementary school that uh i guess at this point was dealing some trees so one of my friends wanted to go to this party because he was going to go buy some stuff off of him you know have a lit little time or whatever and me i literally did not know how to dress for a party this is my first ever a official party right so i wear a button down shirt this is in 2011 by the way 2011 I'm wearing a button down shirt i'm wearing some uh dress pants and some dress shoes and over the button down shirt i have a black hoodie on that's how we coming that's how we come matter of fact i didn't even have the dress shoes on i had sketchers on i had those big ass fat ass ugly ass sketchers yes it's disgusting but we gotta work with it anyways so what ultimately wound up happening is we get to this party and it's very front loaded first of all the party was in the basement of a college building that's where you had me fucked up first of all all right and the second thing is uh we, we walk down this like this uh, this creepy little staircase we hear like do -do 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 like you know kind of like the the back you know thump in of like the music and stuff we you know we, we finally get to like the the entrance of this ratchet looking like like you know serial killers cellar looking thing and we have it's packed it is packed nut to butt with hella hella high school kids man i was in high school everybody was high schooling it up turning the fuck up trap music everywhere and it was packed 100 people deep in the front right we have to push past everybody and in the back of this uh of this facility right there was a bunch of tables old used couches and stuff people smoking hella uh trees and all that stuff like that it was crazy so i'm scared at this point because i'm like i've never done this much reckless shit in my damn life so i literally Literally seized up like this i'm like oh my god so my friends right they go over to the homie that i was telling you that like sells trees and shit and they were all talking now i'm by myself at this point there's a group of girls they're like eyeing me up and down and stuff not to gloat or nothing but they were and we start talking i'm like oh this is crazy blah blah, blah whatever and then i low-key notice in the corner of my eye this one guy yeah this one dude this tall black man arguing with another tall black man and it seemed like both of them were kind of, you know, a little agitated. I'll put it a little agitated. They were pushing each other, shoving each other, and I'm paying attention to that. While these girls are want, 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 want in my ear, right? And my friends, I'm looking frantically at my friends because they are the ride that got me here. At this point, it's like 10, 15, maybe 10, 10, 25 or some shit. So all the trains and buses are over with. I cannot take a train 
from the 45 minute car ride that took to get to this party back to the house by myself if I wanted to. They were my ride. So I look behind me and they're still like chopping it up with the, uh, and by chopping, they're, they're talking with the fucking people and stuff in the back. Um, And they're like smoking and everything. And I'm like over here panicking because these guys are starting to like shove each other. Now everybody is too drunk and high to realize these guys were like, they were gang members, bro. They were gang members. I saw one dude start throwing up some hand signs, some Naruto hand signs. Some dude did some Naruto hand signs hand signs back and i'm and like they got offended and literally i shit you not this at this very moment i almost lost my life one of these men pulls out a gun and starts shooting and with the lightning speed of zeus i plowed through there was a whole group of girls by the exit right just right up against the exit doors i bulldozer these girls they literally flew like some bowling pins all over the floor i got my black ass out that building so goddamn fast somebody thought something was wrong except i was smart so when i left the building i already knew if there was gunshots so everybody freaked out so the dude started shooting right i'm like i'm not trying to get hit so i obviously sprint my friends duck and i run past everybody i'm literally the first person up the stairs out the building but as soon as i saw the exit to get out the building i saw cop cars and i panicked i'm like i gotta go back downstairs with that motherfucker that's shooting that's not cool because there's a whole shootout happening in a college basement i panicked so what did i do what was the most logical thing i could have possibly done in a situation like this i walked out of the main entrance of the columbia college campus i walked out of the main entrance walked i didn't run and the cops were at flashing lights wee, 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 wee. i'm walking out and I walk as slow as possible. I walk at a normal pace, as slow as possible. I have dress pants on, I have a hoodie, I have a button down underneath my shit. I have Skechers, bro, Skechers. I was the most harmless looking black man. So I'm walking down the street, out of my own business, and out bursts 11,000 crazed up people that are freaking out that's not 11,000 but it's literally like hundreds of people from the party are sprinting out of the building and as they're sprinting out I promise you every person that ran out of the building got arrested there were four squad cars one big ass paddy wagon the big shit that you throw like 12 motherfuckers in and stuff one of those guys and then a whole bunch of fucking SUV cop cars circling people just fucking with them so I'm walking and I'm freaking out and I'm in my head the whole time I'm like how the fuck am I gonna get home uh, this is crazy so also i don't know why but at parties when you get the right crowd and they had a lot of different crowds we had some dudes from the south side and a couple of dudes from the west side i mean by a couple i'm saying there were like 12 to 15 dudes from each group that love jumping people they just love jumping people and shit gets rowdy so as i'm walking i can see my friend across the street sprinting to his heart content the man was sprinting so goddamn hard i wanted to hand him an olympian medal but he tripped he tripped he dropped the baton he tripped he had a beer bottle in his hand and he trips fell on the ground skidded across his face and arms and i'm thinking like you know this group this you know group of people running are going to help him up really quick and help him get out of there because the cops are actively arresting people left and right they're not arresting me because i look like a random innocent bystander walking through all this bullshit but what i see blows my fucking mind 12 dudes run towards him like he's literally bait right and they fucking beat the shit out of him with glass bottles and they stump him with timberlands and they punch him and all this crazy shit i couldn't do anything i'm a 15 year old kid watching my friend get jumped in the middle of the street for two minutes then they ran away and my friend's just laying there like crumpled up man it was the craziest shit i've ever seen and then i walk up to him and i'm like bro like oh my god he had glass all over his body but no blood this man honestly when he, he it was crazy because he popped up he's like we got to get out of here and i'm like what you're you you didn't feel that man like that didn't hurt okay so we go and one by one start finding the other friends because the other friends were like lost inside the building one of them was getting almost get uh, he almost got caught by a police officer because he was high as shit and like i said we're young as fuck so any of us get caught all of us going down even though i was the goody two shoes i didn't do anything i didn't drink i didn't smoke none of that and you know i pfft, almost lost my goddamn life it was scary because my heart was racing so bad i was first 
I was freaking out at the fact that I could have got killed. I checked myself too, because you know you have adrenaline rushing. I've seen the movies. There's shootouts that happen, and you don't really feel whether or not you got shot until after your adrenaline drains, right? Like you're calm again. And you're like, oh fuck, I'm bleeding, and then you see a bullet hole in you. I was checking my body. Nothing happened. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We pile in Rashad's car. Rashad's in the car. Philip and his bro are in the car, and we speed off. We're bl blasting some loud ass music. And lo and behold, these these cops pull up right behind us. Pull up right behind us, and I'm panicking bro i'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god this is crazy and they drive right past us and that was that we literally got back to the house safely and everybody popped out the vehicle we all talked about how crazy of a night that was i'm like i'm never doing this goofy shit with y'all again even though that was the best night of my life thank y'all low key for showing me what the real world looked like i think honestly as far as life goes i probably master prestige that situation because i didn't get arrested I thought through my shit. I mean, think about it. What person thinks to just walk through the main entrance of a college building when two dudes start shooting in the basement? It sounded like loud as fuck. Like my ears were ringing and all I did was ran. And my friend Loki told me that when he saw me ran past the, the group of girls in the front, one of the girl's shoulders like snapped, bro. Like she was wedged up against the door and it just snapped. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I was not about to get fucking fucked up now i did now one uh, one bonus thing though is one of my friends dig it he got trampled during like the whole everybody rushing to get out of the the college basement and stuff like that that was crazy but everybody made it out okay everybody made it out safe hopefully you guys found out someone entertaining moral of that story is don't be a goofy okay